I'm Ale Granillo, women's tennis, and you're watching this week at Pepperdine. It's an enormous week for Pepperdine's athletic teams. The MPSF regular season co-champion men's volleyball team hosts an MPSF quarterfinal match this Saturday versus Long Beach State. The first place baseball team has another WCC weekend series on campus. The sand volleyball and women's tennis teams have their home finales. Both the women's and men's tennis teams look to wrap up WCC regular season titles. Plus the golf teams will be up in Washington for the West Coast Conference Championships. All this and more on the newest edition of This Week at Pepperdine. The stars of last week, Frederick Waddell of the men's golf team tied for seventh place to lead the ways at the Red Hawk Invitational last week. It was his third top 10 finish in the last four tournaments. In track, Lisa Santrock won the steeplechase and Stacia Demick set a school record in the 800 meters at the Pomona Pitzer Invitational on Saturday. Aaron Brown picked up the win on the mound and went deep at the plate for the Waves on Saturday. Brown is the only player in the country to hit a homer and record a win on the mound three times this year. It was also his second homer in two days. Victoria Adelhelm and Sophie Asprey won the bronze bracket at the USAV Collegiate Challenge, winning four times on Sunday to take their first title as a pair. Lorraine Guillermo ranked number 27 in singles, won Saturday's showdown between the top two ranked players in the West Coast Conference, defeating number 10, Jenny Gillian of St. Mary's in straight sets. The top plays from last week, Saturday, Josh Taylor pounced home a kill to spark a 5-2 run and close out the win versus Hawaii. It was a junior's 1,000th kill of his career as Taylor becomes just the 18th wave in program history to reach the milestone. A couple of baseball top plays. Tuesday, Waves have the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth against USC. Tie game and Austin Davidson comes through in the clutch with the walk-off single. Waves win 4-3. Saturday against BYU, Manny Jefferson, nice sliding backhand and then the smooth throw to second for the force out. That's just Manny being Manny. Now a look at what is coming up this week. The men's volleyball team swept the season series versus Hawaii over the weekend and with it tied for first place in the final MPSF standings along with BYU. The Waves enter the MPSF tournament as the number two seed and host seventh seeded Long Beach State on Saturday. This is the first time since 2009 the Waves have hosted an MPSF tournament match. Right now the team's feeling great. Uh, we're coming off a big win against Hawaii. We're feeling good. Uh, it was a tough one, so we got to see the fact that we can battle and just come back as a, as a good unit. The baseball team hits the road for a non-conference matchup with Cal State Northridge on Tuesday before resuming WCC play against San Francisco later in the week. The Waves moved up to number 19 in the collegiate baseball rankings after a 3-in-1 week and will be looking to hold on to the top spot in the WCC standings when they take on the Dons for a three-game series starting on Thursday. The women's sand volleyball team closes out the regular season on Saturday, hosting a doubleheader with Pacific and St. Mary's at Zuma Beach. The Waves have never lost a duel on the home sand and have produced an individual match record of 19-3 in 2014. Sand Volleyball is finally back at Zuma for our last home match playing St. Mary's and Pacific and we're really excited to be back and just hoping to get as much people out there to come and support for our last match. I just think each team is just ready to keep moving forward with preparing for Alabama and just getting ready for just anything else that we need to do as pairs. And the women's tennis team celebrates Senior Day on Wednesday prior to the match versus Loyola Marymount celebrating the career of Ale Granillo. The Waves enter the match in first place in the WCC standings and a win over the Lions would clinch the regular season title at a point to the Wells Fargo PCH Cup and mark just the second time in program history Pepperdine has gone undefeated at home in a single season. I feel that my four years here have gone really fast, I've learned so much and especially this season I've got to enjoy it the most, like I got to get like really close to my teammates, like really hang out with them, like enjoy every single match. It will be, it will be very sentimental, but I will enjoy it the fullest. The men's tennis team closes out the regular season on Wednesday with a showdown at San Diego. This contest could effectively decide the West Coast Conference regular season champion as both squads enter the match undefeated in league play. 
Pepperdine previously defeated San Diego 4-1 during a non-conference match back in January. The men's and women's golf teams will be in Bremerton, Washington at Gold Mountain Golf Club today through Wednesday for the WCC Championships. The ninth ranked women are going for their 13th consecutive title while Grace Knott is trying for her second straight league crown and third in four years. The men have won 17 league titles more than any other school, but they'll need to add to their total to move on to an NCAA regional. Some of the key things that are going to help us win the tournament are you know, just keeping focus and staying in the moment and just being confident um, because we're all playing well at the right time. We're really pumped up for next week. It's, it's a big tournament for us. We're really gelling as a team and we're just looking to, to get the win up at conference and, and we're all pumped up for it. Everybody's grinding and we're ready to go. The track teams will send a full team for the final time in 2014 as the Waves compete at the Beach Invitational on Friday and Saturday at Long Beach State. Pepperdine will then decide whether it to extend any runner seasons in search of NCAA qualifying times. Thanks for joining us on the latest edition of This Week at Pepperdine.